My name is Spidey. You're watching The Shift. They do magic. It's nice. I like magic. What up, family? Guys, I sincerely apologize for not putting anything up Sunday, but I spent the last couple days at the Festival de Magie de Quebec. That's the Quebec Magic Festival, and this place is so cool. What they have every year is that they shut down like a portion of the city and devote it entirely to magic, which is completely amazing. And during that time, you've got shows going on in every sort of pavilion, and theater, uh, street performances, and at the end of all this, a grand gala where they have a magic competition, they have uh, famous magicians performing, and it was just a really great time to A, hang with friends, and B, see some really sweet magic. I will definitely be back next year. But to make up for it, I've got a pretty cool product to show you guys today, so just one product, because the rest of the shift episode of this week is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Now, I apologize in advance for the, the shoddy audio, but the content is pretty good and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Before we get into that, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. And that winner is... Zachary Carter. Congratulations, Zachary. Hit us up on Facebook, so facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies. Send us a message with your info and we'll send that out to you ASAP. To win this week's effect, simply like this video and comment below what you thought of this week's episode and I will choose one of you guys to take home this week's prize. Good luck. So this week on the deal we have, <laughs> I, I kind of tore up the package here, so sorry about that. This comes actually complete, it doesn't come ripped up. This is Switch Up by Magic Tao and Danny Weiser. So, you know what? Without further ado, let's get into a quick performance I did for the camera. A little bit of an Instagram video and we'll talk about the product after this. So that was a very quick performance of Switch Up. So what you get is a link and a gimmick. So you get the gimmick completely ready made. You also get a few items that allow you to make more of these gimmicks and they also teach you that uh, on this link, which is great. The gimmick is pretty resistant. I played with it probably for about an hour nonstop and it's still going strong. So no worries there. Should it break, once again, they do teach you how to make another one. This is a pretty practical effect because it can be added to any card box and they also teach a method where you can actually hand that box out afterwards which is pretty cool. Now what I did isn't 
taught on this link, but once you get this, you will understand the concept and we'll be able to do that yourself. There's so many routines that you can do with this. So other than revealing a card or revealing a name, you can change like I did, picture to picture, um, perhaps take an object out of a picture, put it back in, or just anything, maybe an obscene word of some sort for absolutely no reason. That could be funny. But basically, yeah, this is a pretty cool visual gimmick, obviously. There is a bit of a discrepancy when handling it. You do have to hold the box a little awkwardly and that, you know, kind of hurt for me, but I did make it work and I'm sure you guys could too. So I pretty much enjoyed Switch Up. I love visual products. I think they're great for if you're doing Instagram videos, YouTube videos, Facebook, whatever, this type of thing. But this one actually could work in the real world as well. So whether it's online you're performing or for real people, I think this one would go either way. So check out Switch Up by Danny Weiser and Magic Tao. So guys, I kept it short and sweet, and uh, just so I can save some time for this interview I did with the one and only Wes Barker. If you don't know who Wes Barker is, he's not only one of the funniest guys I know, not only one of the greatest college or comedic magic performers I know, he's a genuinely good dude, and I thought it'd be funny if we did a little interview together. So once again, I'm sorry about the audio. I didn't have a mic or anything. So we were in a Starbucks and you're getting all the background noise. Forgive me for that. But I swear if you listen closely, it's pretty funny. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned next week for another edition of The Shift. Have a good, I was going to say have a good weekend, but it seems like we're already Labor Day. So have a great Labor Day, guys. Enjoy and we'll see you next week. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined today by the one and only Russ Parker. Russ, so good to have you on your shift. Wes, Wes Parker. So, Russ, tell us a little bit about your experience on, uh, on Fake Off. How was that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was on. I was on Fake Off. You heard of here first. Tell me. Where, where are you originally from? Vancouver. Right, but originally. <laughs> Vancouver. Yeah, your nativity. Quite obviously, you know, there's some ethnic ethnicity going on. You just really want to know where your where your culture is from. England. Exotic. So Wes. Yeah. That is your real name. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. I, you know, you were uh, you're captain kind of the rowing team. You had no, no. So, I don't know. It, was that you gave me those notes? You gave me those notes. That's some bull. That's some bull right there. We're here in Quebec City for the Quebec Magic Festival. Um, what show are you going to be performing this week? Uh, I'm in this here to support some good buddies. Right. So you're not a magician. I'm a magician. I'm just not performing at this one. So you're not a working magician. <laughs> yeah. Well, Te technically you're not working. No, no, no. So you're, like you're, not, you're not a working magician. Yeah, working like you're not a working magician. Go sugar coat it. Yeah. You're, you're touring right now? Yeah. Where are you touring? Uh, next stop, Halifax. And then? Right back home. That's a short tour. What's the What's the Russ Parker experience? I, the West, the West Parker experience. Right. And that's what that. Uh, yeah. It's just, uh, one of my tricks, one of my favorite tricks is I get to take my uh, clothes off when I beer can out of my underwear. Magic. No, it's not exactly magic, is it? Well, there's like still another can in there. Oh, you got birds in your show too? Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, I'd like to know. I'd like to know a little bit more about uh, how you got started in magic. So how did that start? Just had a boring job, so I bought some books. Learned. That sounds more boring than work. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Okay. It's past time. What kind of books? It's like some card magic books. So you do a lot of card magic? Not anymore. A little bit. Why, why would you buy a... Uh, never mind. Um, so instead of talking about all the failures, let's talk about uh, some accomplishments. That's a, that's a success. That's this a, is really a... It's a good thing. I'd like to know the good, the no, good that stories. That's a good thing. Making a couple rounds. You know, all the, uh, all the tragic stories for TV works, the drama, but like, let's hear about the good stuff. Well, I'd feel that tell her I'll fool us. Right, right. No, I know, I know. That. That's a good thing. Right. But, I mean, right, how hard is it to fool, fool kind of tell her? Well, yeah, yeah, some people find it harder than others. Right, right. That's what she said.
a lot of these interviews? Do you, do you do a lot of people? Uh, no. No? So, Russ, one, one more question. This one goes out to the fan. Um, so, what is your, what is your, who's your all-time favorite performer? Uh, Eric Clare? Right. Oh, that's a good example. Yeah. Let's talk about him for a second. He's doing really well. Yeah. Really well. He's got, like, TV shows going on. Yeah. He uh, won a medal yesterday for, for the show he did. Yeah. Um, yeah, Eric Leclerc. What a great guy. Right? Yeah. Tell us more about Eric. Well, I worked on the his show he's got coming out. What do you work for him? Yeah, well, uh, I, 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 I created so the tricks for him. I made the magic for him. It's like, you know, being an assistant is, is such a cool part of, like, you know, like, it's, it's like yeah. the next best thing, right? But I mean, we're not complaining. No. Right? Because, like, no. assisting, you know, some of the greats is... It's, you, you're really well, it was hard you're to really make tricks simple enough that Eric can do them. When's this airing? Uh, there's just no air date, I don't think. Nice. And will you, will you be on the show? No, I'm, I'm the guy that made all the tricks. Oh, okay. Well, how do we tell? Like, how do we really know that? My name is Dan, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, Les Barker. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Wes, Wes Barker. Oh, your stage name. You use that? Yeah. Why? Why do you use a pseudonym? I just think it's easier. Well, you know, can't win them all. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Barker.